we are going to create the pop-ups or the models in Svelte and using the Tailwind CSS. Uh, here is the demo what we are going to achieve. This is a simple a model and uh, created uh, with the Tailwind CSS and the interactivity is uh, controlled with the Svelte framework. We are using the Svelte kit for that and uh, this is a simple styling and uh, for the button which I created here using the Tailwind CSS and uh, you can add the Tailwind CSS uh, from the official guide of the Tailwind CSS with the Svelte kit and the buttons are grabbed from this version 1 Tailwind.css components and uh, this is the styling which I grabbed for my buttons okay so first of all uh, let's break down the code this is a G model code and we are uh, passing a variable which is a show variable and uh, we created a sub variable in let show model and by default it is false so we pass that into the G model and we created an event which calls the on close and we handle this event with the on close and what we do in the handle close we simply just toggling and uh, or the making the show model is equal to false so that's all we are going to do with the g model component and what is g model uh, this is a, a, a create i created this g model so that's actually the model we are going to use if you go to uh, this G model, here is a bunch of things going on. Uh, let's break down uh, this code. Uh, here is a div which is fixed and top zero, left zero for full width and full height. So what that makes actually, if you go back here and open the model, the whole of this black window. So that's what uh, this div is doing. And uh, uh, if you see the background black here you can see and we pass the opacity to uh, 75 so if you try to change this opacity to something else like uh, make it 40 uh, then you will notice a brighter opacity uh, and if you make it more darker like you take it with the 95 you will notice it will become a more dark black window so uh, for safe side it is 80 or 90 the opacity which gives the effect that it is actually a pop-up <laughs> the next thing what we are going to do is a on click event on this and why we had all this on click I'll come back to that later and within this dev we actually creating one more component uh, with the X auto which will horizontally align the stiff and the ma um, top margin is 52 so at the Y it have the 52 margin from top to bottom then we have s3 tag which simply says the model title and uh, anything you want within this model and here we have simple close button and inside this close button what we are going to do is we are handling this on click effect and the close function so here we see what the close function is doing the close function is simply uh, disabling or making the show variable false which is actually passed by the prop and uh, when we make it false what will happen this model will conditionally uh, rendered and disabled so as you can see inside this model we are conditionally rendering the model if the show is true it will be rendered but if it is false it will not here the next important thing is create even dispatch dispatcher so what this dispatcher do here you we can create our own kind of events so in our case we are creating a close event this is a name that's why we are using it here on close this close word comes from this event dispatcher so we created a dispatch variable 
uh, via this create event dispatcher and where this dispatcher comes from it is actually coming from the swell so we can dispatch any kind of event when we want to dispatch that we are simply dispatching it inside the close fun function and where we are calling this dis uh, close function the first thing we are calling this in this uh, close button so when we click on the close button this will be closed so uh, the second uh, thing we are handling this uh, outside of this model so when we uh, whenever we click outside of it the model is closed and the next thing we are going to do is uh, stopping the propagation of the on click and what will this do so for example if we disable and we just remove this from here you will notice something uh, if we click on this diff this white area it will close as well so why is it because whenever we click on this div it is propagated to the parent so we want to disable this function so that's why we use the stop propagation this is a special event which will actually call the event dot stop propagation function inside of it you can read the svelte official documentation of on element event this is uh, something of same class you have used even dot prevent default so um, uh, this is the same thing it, uh, when you even dot prevent default uh, to disable the default behavior uh, we are stopping the propagation method to not doing uh, the default uh, propagation of the bubbling if or the bubbling effect so whenever you do this uh, it will not the click will not be propagated to its parent so that's how so that's how we are actually handling over event uh, that's all for today's video we can also do this with the store of the svelte but we are not doing this in this tutorial we will leave that part for some else video so that's all for today's video see you in the next one